Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our state-of-the-art facility in Leopoldshoe, Germany. Today we will discuss a draw side line. The line consists of the following machines, an S250 optimized crosscut saw, as well as a BDB through feed double cycle machine, and lastly a Z208 splitting saw. This S250 Pro line will be fed with the customer's robotic loading system. The parts are placed onto conveyor belt, and which then advance to the book building station. Maximum length of the parts 4.2 meters and down to lengths of 1.5 meters with a minimum width of 50 millimeters and a maximum width of 220 millimeters. Workpiece thicknesses can go from 12 millimeters to 20 millimeters. The loading system is designed in such a way that it can handle both single pieces as well as a mat of wrap profiles. These wrap profiles are then introduced into the machine in a dual system. In other words, it builds one book while the secondary book is being passed through to be processed by the crosscut saw. The saw is fed by an NC controlled pusher arm that introduces the work pieces into the saw. Let's have a look inside the machine. The saw itself has a 7 kilowatt motor with 520 millimeter diameter blade that uses a brass chip breaker to protect the finish of the work pieces. The saw will first make a trim cut for finish and accuracy purposes. The waste will then be deposited into this waste bin by means of moving the conveyor belt backwards. The belt which opens and closes allows for short work pieces of down to 220 millimeters to be processed through the machine. In this current configuration, the machine is designed in such a way to push the rest pieces out of the machine. The rest pieces being the parts which are shorter than what is required or a different length to what is required for the drilling line, but that are still usable for the customer. This additional conveyor moves the parts into the drilling machine. For very short parts of down to 220 millimeters, the specialized kicker is in place to eject the small parts from the machine and get them into the drilling line smoothly. This machine is magazine fed. The basis of the machine is that we use a double cycle. That is, we will move two parts into the machine at a time. This is the first drilling station that will allow drilling horizontally vertically as well as long end drilling in double cycle. So we will process these two parts together before the parts are then moved to the second drilling station. The horizontal boring of the parts is done with Koch's patented air drill system to remove the sawdust from the holes. The two vertical drilling units are controlled via NC. The reason for NC is that it allows the machine to be fast enough to achieve the drilling cycle required as well as speed of setup. The parts are then moved to the next drilling station in double cycle and realigned to the zero fence. The parts are then drilled from above with three NC controlled boring units as per the customer's requirements. After the boring cycle the parts are moved to the Z208 grooving and splitting saw by means of a belt driven pusher from above. The parts are pushed together as they enter the sawing station. While in the sawing station, the parts are grooved and scored by the first aggregate from underneath with a 4.6 kilowatt motor. The second aggregate splits the parts into two from underneath with a 4 kilowatt motor. The matching pair of draw sides are fed under the brushing machine to remove the dust from the surface of the parts before the parts will be collected by another robot and stacked. Due to the design of the line and the customer's requirements, the machine is capable of producing 48 sets per minute or 96 individual pieces per minute. We will now demonstrate the machine running.
Thank you for your time. Please contact us via email or go to our website. And don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn and YouTube. Thank you again.